Howdy, y'all. <laughs> what made you do that? That's for sure going to be tough. Uh, hey, everyone. Were you, wait, were you planning that? Were you waiting for that the moment? I, that that, that came from deep. That's crazy. Go ahead. Howdy. Hey, everyone. It is Thursday, April the 20th, um, 2023. Uh, you can't recover. I can't can recover. <laughs> no, no. That was, yeah, that, that came from the so depths. That's so funny. Um, yeah, give us one okay. <laughs> No, okay, yeah, so it's been, like, again, like, two weeks since we recorded, um, just, you know, been busy, but, no, okay, I can't focus because you're laughing. Anyways, oh, let me just get into it. Um, Village Real Estate has a new listing in the Heritage Place subdivision in Christiansburg, 2385 Lake Houston Drive. This four-bedroom, three-bath house is being offered at $639,900. It has main level living with the primary bedroom on the main level and a perfect guest bedroom with an ensuite bath also on the lower level. The house has over an acre at the cul-de-sac and backs up to a picturesque farm. Enjoy the sunset views from the screened in back porch or enjoy the media room in the basement for game days. Only a 15 minute commute to BT and just five minutes from Carillion Hospital. Houses in this subdivision rarely come up for sale, so call Dave at 540-346-4552 to schedule your showing today. And if you want your house advertised on this podcast, call Phillips Real Estate at 540-346-4552 and they can help get your house sold. Thank you, Dave. Wow. That shows how talented I am as an ad reader that I could stay focused while you were losing She your is. Mind. It's because I wasn't doing anything and all I could think about was saying how to y'all. <laughs> I can't wait to listen to this. Um, <clears throat> yeah. No guests again this week. <laughs> Keeping it casual as, as we tell. have been. Um, I'm just a bit, I don't know, stir crazy, I guess, because I'm exhausted. Yeah. Well, why are so you exhausted, exhausted, Georgia? Let's get into that. I mean, it's not even from, like, the camp itself. I'm just exhausted because I'm just... You've been busy. <clears throat> We've been playing basketball since, how what, month? And now it's yeah. April, late April. Um, but I did go to the Kelsey Plum camp. It was so cool. Give them a back. Like, give them details. What do you mean? I don't know, like how many people were invited and like who Kelsey okay. Plum is in case you um, Kelsey Plum is my favorite player. Um, plays for the Aces. She plays for the Aces Shep. with Sheppy. Um, and then I think we were, it was like coming back from Texas. She followed me on Instagram and I had like a mini panic attack. We were on the plane and I just like panic and froze and I showed Liz. I was like, what the f- just happened? Um, and that wasn't the best part about it because then I got an invite to the camp, which was pretty cool. But you know, nine guards. Um, and it was really cool. It was really cool to be there and just, like, experience everything because, like, yeah, we had practices and stuff like that, and it was good to get out and compete. Because, um, you know, like, <laughs> not only, like, well, I'm playing against, like, you know, I see Deja all year, Deja Kelly. I see Haley Van Lith all year. Um, but then it's, like, the other girls from, like, different conferences that you're not really, you know, playing against if any at all. Yeah. Um, cool. I bet it was cool like watching because we watched a lot of basketball. Like yeah. I'm sure you've watched a lot of the yeah. TV a lot and then getting to play with them. Yeah. Um so it was cool to play with them and just like see how, you know, even different like conference style of plays I feel like played into it very much too. Um but she, I wasn't expecting to work out with Kelsey. Like she came, we played with her against her. We did like Pilates, we did yoga, we did conditioning, we did like pool recovery, like every single thing that I think she'd like pretty much tries to do except for weights um we did we had like mental health coaches we had um what else did we do I can't even remember you, you've listened a lot yeah they, they obviously... oh and then we had like a it was very cool on the last day too because like obviously it was like a Under Armour camp but just to see how like Under Armour works and like values not sponsored at all but how they were like putting so much effort into the camp for Kelsey because I think when she she said when she signed with them she wanted it to be like at the forefront um so they put a lot of effort into that camp that's that was cool how you said Under Armour like asked you you, like you guys opinions yeah they were like asking us opinions on like um you know just like what we like in a product and stuff like that like the fit all of that like they're very interactive and they were going around asking every single person um but That's yeah, it was very cool. Yeah, you know, it. you know that she was kept busy because she said her screen time was like two hours a day. And if you know Georgia, what is it normally? Do you know? To be honest. I want to say at least five and a half, six. Okay. So it, it went down a lot. Yeah. You were very busy. Yeah. Um, which is really cool. Also, what's really cool is that she got um, chosen as dog of the camp. <laughs> D-A-W-G, Georgia, basically MVP with the best guards in the country that's like insane but also not shocked at all um she is that so anything to say about that 
no. it's cool. It's cool. It's definitely not what I went in expecting. Like, I really just wanted to go in and just like sounds creepy, but just like watch how she does everything because like obviously she's been so successful and um. It's not always been easy for her, but it was just so good to just like watch her. But it's just an added bonus, I guess. Yeah, no, because pretty cool. Nobody can ever take that away from me. Like I would be, like telling people that all the time when I'm like retired. <laughs> like you'll always like look back. Like you made the final four, sure, AC championship, sure, but like dog with the camp. I'm just kidding, guys. But, no, that's still really cool. Um, speaking of Pilates and such, you got a bit inspired, mm -hmm. and you wanted to partake in more of that activity mm -hmm. so we went over to imbalance yoga because i saw they had a pilates class we did that yesterday yep. um my butt is still sore my core definitely felt it um it was a really cool experience they're also a new partner with this podcast but we literally went before we knew that was we did happen. hot yoga a few weeks yeah, we did ago hot yoga, like yeah a couple weeks ago um they're open every day stop by see them we might be there um they have an introductory offer that is one month unlimited for forty nine dollars um, for new students, which is really cool. Um, they have like hot flow yoga. Regular. One thing, one thing that stood out to me when we were talking about it, they do like breath work classes, which is really cool too because like a lot of that can control. She said that a lot of people go in there for like stress reasons. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, that's not something that we went in there for. We were just there to like try something new and whatever. But it does like offer a, a wide. Like I'm really interested in the breath work. Especially too, because the way she was explaining it, like if I have complete control over my breath, like in the game, like I'll you probably about Kelsey. No, oh the girl there. Yeah, yeah she said that you could like help help um expand your or increase your lung lung capacity. I'm not gonna be as gassed. Yeah, right. anything to help. Right, <laughs> with a little boost. Yeah, no, like stretch. Really cool. They have like a bunch of different things. Um, we saw the people in the I'm so ignorant. The people in the hammock, yeah. the hammock thing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it was like a hammock. Like sitting in the what was that called? I don't know. I don't know, but you can like I don't know if they swing or not, so I'll just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they have different things to offer and it's cool. Point is we have more to explore. Yeah. So we'll wait. maybe we'll go to different classes and then give feedback. That's what we should do. That's mm -hmm. a great idea. Okay, we'll keep you guys up to date. Um also we've had the WNBA draft which was amazing. We uh, had T-Soul, she was at our apartment when mm -hmm. it happened and her reaction was so cute. Obviously Very cute. you can say who went where. Oh, okay, so we had KT at pick number 23 to Chicago Sky. Um, and then T-Soul obviously went pick 28 to the Lynx, which was pretty cool, super happy for them. Yeah. Um, and she just like experienced the whole draft. I feel like only, to be honest, because I am Australian, I couldn't really watch the draft at home. So I've only ever watched it the past, like, three years. But I feel like, you know, the more, the older we get, obviously, the more girls we know going into the draft, like, personally as well, yeah. um, which is really cool to experience, like, just see where they go. And I think also, like, social media has been so much better at keeping up with it. Like, obviously, there's still loads more ways to go um, with all of that, but it's a it's a good start yeah and i cannot wait to buy league pass because yeah. that's something i'm gonna do like I, i'm like gonna be watching all the time yeah no two things like i'm gonna be watching a time because like now mm -hmm. we like know a lot of these players like we played against a lot of these players and mm -hmm. it's like it's just really interesting i think it's more interesting watching games when you like know the people mm -hmm. um so i'm really looking forward to that and then also it's just crazy how I think you can probably relate. Our perspectives have changed watching the draft as we've gotten older. Like mm -hmm. I think freshman year, probably when we were watching it, like it felt so far away. I was like, like, those girls are so cool. They're so old. And obviously they're so cool, but it's like, oh my gosh, like you're my age. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now it's like our peers, Yeah. Um, which I guess it kind of was when we were freshmen, but now it's like even more so, Yeah. which is insane. Um, yeah. Even like going back to watching in high school, uh, it felt like, I don't know, I was a huge gap in between, but now it's just, I mean, obviously still, very respectable and everything mm -hmm. um and it's incredible that our teammates got drafted yeah. we're so proud and happy for them <clears throat> it's crazy that um tisol went to minnesota already like they flew her out yeah she like, went to like meeting and stuff like yeah. that they she was like in a limo she was living the life minnesota did a really good job at like showing off their picks and rookies and yeah doing all the extra stuff and i think i read on twitter that the owner of minnesota because it's the nba and wmba like really put an emphasis on like treating them the same way kind of or being them like diff like almost equal i can't remember what i read but i definitely saw a twitter post but then something. it was something like that but it was obviously seen they very much yeah um valued they took care of them she was there yeah. for like i don't know one or two nights we yeah, had like a press conference long. took a bunch of pictures that um had her jersey oh yeah with, like, i think she went back. to a practice a watch practice oh. or a shoot around or something that's so cool i can't remember but it was very cool the um, opportunity 
yeah, very cute she, for her. Yeah, she got like the Minnesota Lynx hat and mm. she hasn't taken it off. Oh, no. Where were we? Oh, Pilates. She comes yeah. in the Pilates, she was wearing a hat. Where did she also wear it? She oh, wore the field. Yeah, to the at spring the, game. At the spring game. I wasn't even there. Also, I wasn't there because I was at the camp and I was like hoping people didn't panic about that, but would have loved to be there. But She's to be honest, I was living my best life. I was having the best fun. Yeah, no, it was a real confidence booster every time we'd walk up to someone and they'd be like, Where's Georgia? <laughs> Just kidding, I get it. I get it. Oh I'm my girl gosh. Girl too. Um, but that was fun, yeah, getting recognized and being able to see the trophies again, mm -hmm. as always. Mm -hmm. Never gets old. Um, it, has, it still hasn't really set in. Like, I was walking to class today and I was, like, thinking about the ACC championship. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of spring game, we can just talk about that now. We had recruits on campus this past weekend. Um, one of the girls announced her commitment already. Um, her, her, I don't know. People call her, or her name online is like Alana or something, but uh, she goes yeah, by she Rose. Rose. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's from Minnesota. She, I've, like, she had good stats there. Um, watched like her play a bit, mm -hmm. and she was she was really good. So we're really looking forward to that. Um, she's a sophomore this year, mm -hmm. so I think she has two years left. Um, when does the COVID year stop? Stop? Is it my it's, it's year? year? Yeah, you're the last. That's why I'm so confused because I saw she was a sophomore. And I was like, oh, so she has three more years. No, but she but I forget two. that. We're so spoiled that we have Very five. spoiled. And everyone else just has Because, like, now you think about it in the next, what, next, after next year, there's going to be no more. I'm coming back. Yeah, there's no more there's announcements. There's going to be no, like, decision. Because, you know, like, after the draft, too. <clears throat> and this is a question I asked them. I was like, was there ever a period, like, before COVID where people were, like, announcing if they were, like, declaring for the draft or not? Because, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're either going to declare or, you know what I'm saying? Like, because people are like, I mean, there's, the staying, a, there's or, a decision to be made. Yeah. yeah like, is it. I think everyone, I think most people still would post, like, I'm declaring for the draft yeah. because it's like a goodbye yeah. to college, hello, next level. Right. But it wasn't, like, as big of a waiting to see what happens. Yeah. Like, you knew who was going to Like, isn't there. that going to be so tragic for media outlets? Like, the, <laughs> like the excitement of, like, just, like, like not, like, not betting in a term, but just, like, having their opinions on who's staying, who's going, like, what's the moves? And now it's just going to be, like, all right, well, they're, they're done with their eligibility. Yeah. So it's so strange. So, it's gonna be so strange. But we did have a good recruiting weekend. And speaking of, hold on, before you start something else, you're talking about coming back. Welcome back, Hunter Couture. Yes, welcome um, back, Hunter. We're so we were. I we talked about playing horse today, mm -hmm. good. but we didn't. No, like the other day we said. Oh or, yeah. I said Thursday. He said sounds good. Oh yeah, true. But we'll do that um, eventually. We will. Hundred percent. Georgia will play horse against him, not me. Probably. Um, we're trying to win. You have to represent. Okay. I don't have any trick shots. You're in those fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know something that I forgot to tell you? Yeah. We did this shooting drill at the Talk camp. We did this shooting drill at the camp and I got two half court shots and that was to win it. Of course. No wonder you got freaking dog. What, wait, what was the drill? <sighs> I forgot what it was called. It was like a shooting one. Thank you. But I forgot. You. I black out when I shoot. Much, we know yeah. this. Yeah, okay. You're wrong. Um, I be jacking. You I stay jacking. You the half court shot or like perfected. Also, no, I haven't really. Because I didn't, I didn't make one this year. What? Not at all? No. No, but after after practice, you so. I know, good. I know, but not in a game. Oh, okay. KT's one was ridiculous at UVA. I will never forget that. Yeah, well, I will so, like, never forget that. Everyone makes a half court shot every game. I'm just saying, like, in practices, you would come up clutch. I did practice. I not. I did not practice half court shots. I very much practiced them. I just never hit one in the game. Sorry to disappoint. How many did you shoot this year? I don't even... Not that many, because I was giving it up this year. I'm not going to make other it. people take it. Yeah, right, Georgia. You're the queen of, not, like, getting stuck with the Because ball. if I am if I take 19 threes, I don't want an extra one, two more they hardcore shots. They don't count Sometimes that. they do. Okay. It depends. Home or away. So you, you can't be um, six for 13. You have to be six for 12. Yeah. Okay. Because... No, who is saying that? Everyone loves kidding, you. Stop. Kidding. Um, I know my weaknesses. Yeah. Also, the spring game, I didn't even get to see. You weren't even here. I mm -hmm. forget. So you, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I didn't see, like, any of the game because there were so many people to talk to. And it was really cool. We couldn't even, like, get out of the arena because. Really? It, or what do you call Not arena. Stadium. Stadium. <laughs> God. I'm so basketball biased. What? Someone commented on our podcast explaining what the difference between an arena and a stadium was i'm sure they're Remember that? To this. sorry so i, I apologize because i didn't learn <laughs> and i'm just gonna keep calling it a field yeah, or a court um yeah we can get out of the stadium because people wanted like pictures and everything and that's just so cool because yeah. freshman year like it wasn't like that um and now people have really like taken yeah. a liking to us which is it's awesome. very cute very cool yeah and i'm excited for next year yeah you want to talk about that just got some 
good news. You're so, you're in such a weird mood today. Georgia, we're a podcast. <laughs> you have to speak. My eyebrows been going there. Um, No, I'm excited for next year, for real. What? I'm just excited for next oh, year. I thought you were talking about this. I said, do you want to talk about this? Oh, no. Well, I'm, okay. I'm also excited because we purchased, well, Elizabeth bought the Switch. I bought a Switch. I bought some games and some, a remote. That was so strange. I was so confused with what you were doing. <laughs> I was so confused. She was going up and down with her eyebrows and I, yeah. And she's doing it again. Yeah. I can't, can you lift one? Oh yeah. my God. I got expressive That's eyebrows. That's going to be a meme. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. That's impressive. Yeah, thanks. That's a um, okay, anyways, bought a Switch. I am yet to still play it because I think we bought it f- Friday, Thursday? Last right, Thursday. Right you left. But then I left at 2.50 a.m. to get on a flight to Florida so the next day. So I like literally didn't play it. Plus, also, Nintendo, I have a bone to pick because you have an extra HDMI cord that's not including in the pack that you need to buy mm-hmm. and we weren't made aware of after we opened the box. Thank you for vouching for me. Yeah, I had to go. Riddle me that. Get, uh, riddle me that is that Australian? Riddle me that. I've definitely heard it, so oh, it must be cool. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got a switch. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, though. Raven made joy out of it. Raven did use it. No, me and Raven. You Actually, gone, here's my opportunity. This is my early that's so Raven submission. Actually, I want to. I'm going to save it for that's so yeah, Raven. Save it for later. I'm going to save it. <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> Sneak peek. Um. um yeah, but you were playing like Mario Kart and all that. What else? Super Mario Party. Super Mario Brothers. I wish we had Super Mario Party. Um, we, my dad got us Nintendo Switch Sports with, if, which if y'all ever played Wii Sports Resort, I think it's like mm-hmm. that, or Wii Sport. I don't know. Same thing. Some sort of sports. Um, yeah. So I'm really excited about that. He really bought that because he wanted to play it. <laughs> um, Has he played it yet? He hasn't. No, I don't think so. That's like he bought us a record player and then he's yet to put on a record. <laughs> Okay. Well, he's watching this. Love him. <laughs> we really appreciate. No, we do. Well, it's, he didn't it's buy there. the record for him. He bought it for us. Okay. But yeah. the game, yeah, I'm convinced he bought. No, I, I need to stop talking because I don't want him to reach out. Um, he's on his boat today. He bought a boat. Yeah, he's chilling on the lake. Didn't even take us. Yeah. What's up he with got, that? Riddle got, me that. He got the sea do boat thing. Um. Oh, this is good to talk about. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm exposing you. He <laughs> bought the sea do boat thing. Maybe I shouldn't say numbers. No, I'm going to say it. It has an 800-pound weight limit, and I don't know if y'all know my family, but we're over the limit, so we can't even all go out on the boat. Riddle me that. <laughs> do the math. Yeah. So, no, don't do the math. Um, <laughs> let's just say, I mean, we do have six people total, but even, like, the four of us, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's going to... Am I included in this? Okay, five. Sorry. Yes, you're included always. Okay. We definitely can't fit on with you, then. Yeah. Raven's, Raven's got to stay back. <laughs> She got to go out today, so she's lucky. She is. Um, but my dad's convinced. He's like, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. I'm like, we're literally going to sink. I'm not. It's literally that. not going to move. Like, yeah. the, the engines are literally going to go. <laughs> we're going to go two miles per hour. It's going to take forever to get across the But lake. Ralph's going to enjoy every single minute of that of the boat struggling. I don't even. But, like, can I even lay out on that boat? Like, Probably not if there's six people. I'm going to be like Because Raven's going to be priority. <laughs> spread. She's going to be spread. <laughs> um so yeah that's what my family was doing today yeah well um, while they were doing that you were being really sad oh um listen i haven't been able to recover i mean i kind of can i don't know you guys the taylor and joe breakup this won't appeal to everyone but i just want to i just want to talk about it a little bit apparently taylor swift and her boyfriend broke up i'm pretty sure it's true and then i saw a tiktok where taylor swift went out to eat with like lively and ryan reynolds and then that's ryan funny. unfollowed joe Wow. On Instagram, so apparently there's some tea. I didn't think there was at first, but I think there is, and I want to know, but also respect your privacy. Yeah. The poor girls have the whole bloody life in the spotlight. I know. I feel, t- yeah, I don't want to know. I want it to be personal. I just want, I to, want, I want her to be, be happy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I really hope she's okay. And speaking of my concert, my concert, her concert that I'm going to is in eight days, and I still don't have an outfit, so I'm also stressed about that. I go home in 20 days. I just realized that. That's way more exciting. But yeah, in eight days, I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do because her whole family's going to Atlanta. I'm just going to no, be chilling not. here. Uh, I thought Raven was going for some reason. Raven wants to go, but they're not. She, she, she doesn't anyway. ride her heel. Me and Raven are going to kick it. You should come with Me us. and Raven are going to have a house party and you're all exclusively invited if you text me. No. I want the password. I want Georgia to come to Atlanta because we'll be able to do things. Because we liked Atlanta when we played at Georgia Tech. 
So I'm like, I didn't yeah. mind it. We yeah. the, the mall is so nice. It was very nice. We but we only, the thing about traveling to, with the malls, we only get an hour. And I'm like, yeah. this is not enough. I know. We, oh, my God. They had a Ritzia, Georgia. I know. They had a Ritzia. I ordered my Gobbler dress for um, a Ritzia. Yeah. For those who don't know, Gobbler is like a Virginia Tech um, award ceremony. Sports award ceremony. Yeah. We dress up and everything for it. Oh, my gosh. We'll be able to talk about that after that. That'll be a good podcast. Yeah. But seriously. And then if I go, also, if I do go to Atlanta, it would be a very good use of the new purchase that we purchased. Exactly, we can vlog. We can vlog. I was going to vlog anyways. Oh, yeah, so the camera, um, if you guys couldn't, if you didn't watch our last YouTube video, you should. But we bought a camera, and I just thought it was really funny how we've had this. This is our 18th podcast. Can you believe that? 18th, and we still don't have a mic. Mm. Yet somehow we bought a, I'm just going to say it, $740 camera. Before we got a mic for podcasts that we've had for months. Mm-hmm. Plus the SD card, plus the <laughs> stand, hard. plus the hard drive, plus the... So probably a K, else? 1K. Yeah, a probably. solid amount. I did mind. check my bank account and score them a little. Did you? This morning, yes. Okay, well, I think we're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, we are. No, we yeah, are. Yeah, we'll see. So hopefully we go to Atlanta and then you bring the camera. And we'll see. Go. I'll pay I'm seriously in a dilemma because I'm like, I want to go out and explore, but then money. Yes. But then I'm like, I just want to chill. But, but, but at least, like, you're, you're, you're going to the concert, so you could, like, do. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but. But then I'm going to. Yeah, okay, we'll figure it out. You can do whatever you want. Pros and cons. If you're listening, pros and cons me for Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. They're driving as well. That's a yeah. vital piece of information. Yeah. Well, we'll see. That's, an, that's next weekend. If you are so exhausted by then, you should stay and take care of yourself. <laughs> I want you to be happy. Um, this is also so random, but I just put this in my notes to talk about because I've been here for now four whole years and I still like when I'm typing, I don't know how to spell castle, like Coliseum. I do double S double L. Okay. Now. Okay. Now I'm the double S double L, but I always get confused with how many L's there are. But if you look on Google maps, what does it say? It is that. It's double S double L. I'm pretty sure. Oh, well. But it's like embarrassing that I'm not like 100% sure. And every time I text, I get confused. I just want to know if anyone can relate. If not, I just feel like I stuck with the principle of like Mississippi. Like there's like double letters in that. (laughs) Like I don't know. Like whenever you think of, can you do do the spelling of Mississippi? I couldn't honestly wholeheartedly could not do it. You don't have that like song thing. Why would I have that song? How do you spell Queensland? Q U E E N S A L A N D. I stuttered, but. That was a pretty easy one. You could have got me with how do, you, how do you say that? Cairns. <laughs> Cairns. What about, how do you spell kookaburra? Kookaburra? Mm-hmm. K-O-O. K-U. K- I don't know how do you spell it. Kuku- I, don't, K-O-O- I don't even K-U- know. This is your K-U- issue is we got into a battle that I cannot win because I cannot spell. <laughs> I'm constantly, I type, type, type. I can't spell a word. And then I'll be like, oh. Rest- restaurant. <laughs> if you say kookaburra, kookaburra instead kookaburra. of kookaburra, would know. Hey, Siri. Wait, what is that? How do you spell kookaburra? Oh my gosh, her lock screen is her hugging okay, Kelsey Plum. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, K-O-O, K-A-B-U-R-R-A for anyone that was curious. I don't think so. But her lock screen is her hugging Kelsey Oh, Plum. don't expose me. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Why? Because. You're so annoying. That's so cool. That's not an embarrassing thing. Very that's very such cool. a flex. Okay, sorry. I think that's so cool, Georgia. Anyways, what were we talking about before that? Spelling. Castle. Mississippi. Castle. Mississippi. It's M I S S I S S I P P I. I bet everyone will. That's like when people are like, you didn't learn the United States state Sorry, song. I forgot. I thought you said Mississippi because you had known that. No. Because, <laughs> okay. Whatever. You, you don't know the independence of uh, the independence of declaration? The declaration the independence of independence? The independence of declaration? <sighs> you, you don't know God Save the Queen. Oh, wait. Shit. <laughs> What's your version of God Save the Queen? What? The Our one, version? yeah, the one that they did before the before the final four. That's not the national anthem. What? Oh, um, uh, oh. At that, lift every what? Lift what, every voice? No, no. What song did they perform at like big games before the national anthem? Um, Amazing Grace. I don't know. Amazing Grace. I feel like they did that. I feel like they Land did of, do Amazing Grace. I I know what you're talking about. They did something. I don't know. There's, all, all I'm saying is that I very much grew up in a different country. You don't know the U.S. patriotic things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot for no, one you... second. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, before we fight, again, <laughs> uh, also, we just wanted to shout out the softball team because uh, they let us hit off of them. And, and they're in the season. Us, and they're in season. And we're going to their game against Florida State after this. So shout out. Um, you guys should go to the games. 
Okay, now that was long. See, I knew we had stuff to talk about. We, that was we a pretty long uh, recap intro, whatever. Um, so we're finally into our first segment, which is roommate report card, and that is brought to you by Three Ten Rosemont. If you're looking for awesome apparel, shoes, accessories, anything, you can get fifteen percent off. It's located on Main Street. Just mentioned Queens of Castle. Um, we love them, and yeah, shout out Three Ten Rosemont. Head there ASAP. It's getting hot. You need shorts. Mm-hmm. Georgia roommate report card. Well, I've been back for five days. I spent three days away, so I'll give myself an A+. Plus. And you? I would say an A, because I'm not quick to judge, but I haven't had enough time to, you know, fully settle back in. Yeah. I, I can't believe you've been back for five. It feels like you just got back. I feel yeah. like you were away forever also. It did feel like a very long time. Um, yeah, I'll give you an A+, plus because I love the Switch deal that we did. I bought um, the Switch, and she bought the games. So I think that's pretty deserving of an A+. Plus. Yeah. Um, Even though we're yet to play it. Well, me. Together, at least. Yeah, we haven't played together, but we will. What should we play tonight? Mario Kart. Okay. I gotta warm into it. I'm not... Oh. See, I've been playing too much Xbox, so if I flip to, like, Nintendo controls, I'm just gonna get thrown all the way mm. off, and I'm gonna lose, and I'm gonna... Well, actually, I don't really care. <laughs> when it comes no, to games, I don't care. That's the thing. That's, like, the biggest difference between us. Like, Georgia's so competitive, but when it comes to board games, like, I don't lose that competitive. Like, I am so competitive, and Georgia does not care. Could not... I... Like, if we were playing, like, you know... How many, like with a soccer ball, like how many toe touches can you do, like keeping it up, kicking it? I would be so, and when it comes to sports, I want to win. Yeah. But when it comes to ball games, mm, couldn't give two I why. Fs. Like Uno, mm, couldn't care. Oh, that like, it like makes me emotional. Like when I'm couldn't not care. doing well. Like Monopoly, I like love Monopoly. That's why, I, do you like board games? Nope. Oh, and I love board games. That's like, we have a bunch of board games. Probably that I've gone. Into. I like Cards Against Humanity, and that's about it. That's not even a board game. That's just, chess. just I went through a chess phase. No, we went through ages. a Queen's Gambit phase, and then we played <laughs> chess. That is, yeah. That we, is should, we should rewatch that. We should rewatch Ratchet, too. Yeah, that was good. Is that still on Netflix? I don't know. Probably not, because that was very much a COVID thing. It was. What was that, my freshman year or something like that? Definitely my freshman year. You were in the other... sophomore, my freshman year. Oh, God. That's confusing. I feel like we're the same age. We, um, I am older. <laughs> what? I am older. I know you are older than me. It gets confusing, but anyways, the, we do differ in competitiveness when it comes oh, yeah. to board games, but that's okay. Um, moving on to our next segment, That's So Raven, which is sponsored uh, by the book we've been talking about, The Cornell Effect, A Family's Journey Towards Happiness, Fulfillment, and Peace. It's an up from the Ashes story about Cornell Cranham, who was born a little over a pound, faced incredible challenges in his early years, and how his attitude, passion for life, and sheer determination transformed him, and ultimately those in his presence. Dr. John Cranham, the author, launched the book in February 2020 on the Sons of Saturday podcast. To date, it has sold over 100,000 copies and climbed to number five on Amazon in its category. This is a tale about a real hokey family, and if you're wondering if it's worth the read, check out the reviews. It will make you laugh, cry, and be inspired to live your life to the fullest. Do yourself a favor, go to Amazon and order a copy. So, that's so Raven. I actually had um, a list in my notes this week because we spent so much time together when Georgia was away. Mm -hmm. Raven came up and stayed with me for the weekend, just her and I. Mm -hmm. Um, We played Switch and everything, but I just had a few things. Okay, first. This was her one of her quotes. Were you here for these? I I was not. I seriously missed out. One of her quotes. I'm not eating my fries because I'm trying to be healthy and I want cake and ice cream later. I was here for that. (laughs) That's the same... My says, I think I'm going to settle for the Diet Coke. (laughs) Okay. This is worse. This is worse than that. She literally said she wasn't going to have her fries. She wants to be healthy and eat cake and ice cream. Which, honestly, I can relate. You gotta gotta give some up. Yeah. You gotta make your balances. I mean, yeah, you do have to live a little. She also, um, oh, she uh, negotiated with my dad, or we helped them negotiate, and she's going to go to the gym three times a week, she said. I don't know if she's doing that, but she said she was going to Someone checking on her. Yeah, Raven, I know you're watching. Hold you her accountable in, this week? in the comments because she reads the comments because she's like, you, someone said that they want me back on the podcast. I've had a, quite a few people say they want me back on the podcast. Raven, I saw it. It was one comment. I know. Don't pump your tires that much. I haven't even seen. Comments. I heard that she walked out of the spring game with a huge head. It was that heavy. She was walking like this. <laughs> she did. A lot of people did want pictures with her. She was loving it. <laughs> loving it. She got to go on the field with us. Yeah. Um, and wave and everything and hold a ball. She, yeah, she permanently walks like this There's now. really cute pictures. Um, that my That's So Raven moment was in regard to the Switch. So when I was back, when was your first cooking class? Um, Tuesday? Tuesday. I was getting ready to go to the cooking class. 
and um, they came down to go as well. Um, and the only opportunity I had to play the Switch, I was trying to boot it up. And I thought she was putting it into the TV to play together. Uh, she did handheld mode, sat right next to me and played Mario Kart Rainbow Road. It had the taunting sound of the Rainbow Road song in the background. I was like, what is this about? I thought we were setting up to play one-on-one. For some reason, she loves the She like She mode. props herself up like this. With yeah. her legs like this. Yeah. And does this. I was like, I looked at her. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Yeah. Because this is not what she, I thought was she happening. She's monopolized. She, keep in mind, she has a Switch. She, she does has have a, a Switch Lite, which is literally handheld. But she wants to take off the Switch that goes on the TV that everyone can play. And yeah. Make and it play handheld it herself. so that she can just play it. Yeah. I don't know why she did that. Yeah, was, Raven, not, explain yourself. Explain yourself. Riddle me that, Raven. Riddle me that, Rave. Um, anyway, oh, this is a good one. Okay, next. Um, <laughs> I go, what does S A L M O N spell? She goes, uh, smallpox? <laughs> Because then I asked her, I was like, Raven, spell yes. She Hi. goes, Y-E-S. I was like, okay, now what does E-Y-E-S spell? And she goes like this, yes. <laughs> she goes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which, to be fair, I fell for that too when I first heard it. Smallpox, though. I know. S-A-L-M-O-N. I should have had you do that first. Yeah. And then, oh, but you were there. I was when there. When was this? This was at your place. It, it was for Easter. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was hilarious. And then another thing, Raven is already sending me lists of toys and books that she wants me to buy in Australia. And I don't leave for over a month. And she like keeps, she's like, sis, you got to go to Kmart. I'm like, babe, I don't have the itinerary. I'm just going to Georgia. <laughs> like she wants me to buy her. You got stuff. gas money, Raven? But I want to know how she's fine. Like she must be looking up exclusive Disney items sold in Australia. And yeah. then like said, you know, to be fair, I do think we have a lot of different stuff. Like when I went to like yeah. the Foot Locker at home and stuff like that. And I think it's, I, I could be so wrong, but I think it's because they're close to like the Asian region. So a lot of like the factors influence that, like what we import and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's also just very close. Well, she's on it. She can tell you that much. Um, so those are my That's a Ravens of the past two weeks. Thanks, Raven, for providing me so much content. Um, now we have Song of the Week, which is brought to you by Hokey House. Head down to Hokey House, listen to some great music, have great food. There's the jukebox on the second floor. Play your Song of the Week or our Song of the Week um, and just have a good time. Georgia, what is your Song of the Week? I have two songs and they're very different. Okay. The first one, it was like more of a pre-practice pump-up song, but Blue Notes by Meek Mill. Very different, but I love it. As in very different from my liking. It's very just much rap, but whatever. Mm. Second one, Break Free, Ariana Grande. I recently came back to that, and I cannot escape it. As soon as you say that. I can't resist my, it no more. As soon as you say that, my mind goes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That wasn't accurate. Like, you guys know you missed saying. my little. You can't break free anymore. Or what did you say? I can't resist, resist it. Now. I can't resist it. Now. No, I heard your reference. I'm sorry. Okay. I was I just so was excited good. to sing. I'm sorry. Did I ruin your moment? No, I love the song. It's really good. Yeah, it is really good. What's your song? Um, so as we mentioned earlier, uh, the breakup thing has been throwing me off. I can't listen to Cornelia Street the same. Paper um, rings. Paper rings just doesn't. It just I don't know, guys. Lover. Lover. I just. Anyone with the Lover. Lover album? Yeah, the whole Lover album. I'm just like really conflicted mm-hmm. and confused. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll still listen to it forever, but like now I'm seeing people like, on, on um TikTok. Well, yeah dissecting all of her songs but on tiktok they'll be like uh uh because i always have like wedding tiktoks mm. and they always like they show their playlists a lot of times and like um brayden galloway uh mackenzie galloway now the famous couple on tiktok whatever she walked down the aisle to love her like this past whatever and now i just i'm like is that bad luck because they broke up you know and that's about him i thought they had some beef going on some family issues yeah they do what you want to talk about that no so it's the curse the song uh yeah i don't know the order of those things but i have no anyways, idea i just it's so it's so sad and like now i just can't listen to those songs without thinking about it um so as always i've been listening to lizzie mcalpine and hamilton um i didn't realize when we started this podcast how much this a segment was going to expose me because every week i go to look at my music to see what i've like been listening to and it's same literally show. always the same thing yeah hamilton lizzie mcalpine and taylor swift mine changes yeah, you just Because I get, like, really intense with, like, one song, and I'll listen to it over and over and over, and then just, like, move on. Yeah, that's how I feel about those three uh, artists and whatever, but I just don't move on. Maybe one day. Um, Potentially. We'll see. Probably not. So, um, also, just because we're a podcast, we're doing live updates. Since she announced it, Welcome Home, 
Olivia Samuel. She has it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So we got another commit. Wow, you just scared me. I was like, oh my God. No, she has it. Aww. Yeah, we um, got she's another. lovely. She's so lovely. Um, Transferred from Wake, played there for four years. Played against her for four yeah, years. Played against her. Uh, shooter for kind of. Yeah, just smart. Smart as anything. She hung out with Joe Biden. With Joe, yeah. She, she hung out with Joe. <laughs> Jill. Uh, Jill. Ow. My Sorry. Name. It's okay. Um, that's awkward. But yeah, no, it's, she's very nice, very lovely, very excited. Yeah, we went to Kabuki. Oh, wait. I wasn't there for that. I saw her for the yeah, second. You weren't day. There. Well, on. I saw her the second. I went to Mellow Mushroom with her. That was something else that we did spring game weekend when Georgia wasn't there, but yeah, she got to see her. Yeah, we mm-hmm. are very excited to be your teammate. It's going to be super fun. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then also coming up to we we'll have to like make them join the podcast. Yeah, we, we should, should do we should do like a um like pre depot like pre um pre arrival <laughs> interview and then just like m- maybe like halfway through like the season like the end of the season like re. re- yeah, Whatever. we should ask them, like, what do they think about, like, yeah. things about it'll be interesting then, like, to see, yeah. yeah. I feel like for Livia, too, like, since we played against them for so long. Yeah, that'd be, be interesting. Because, I mean, T-Soul had the same experience, like, transferred within the ACC. Right, and she played there four years ago. We'll see. That's that a funny. good idea. Thanks. Shout out. Um, yeah, I think that's enough for today. We just, again, wanted to catch up, as we have been, talk about what's been going on. Um, you good with that, Georgia? Yeah. All right, guys, we got to go support the softball team. Mm -hmm. So that's all from us. I'm Liz. I'm Georgia. And we're Queens of Castle. Double S, double L. (laughs)